Hey guys, hope you all have used brackets or maybe thinking to give it a try, then you are at the right place. If you are a beginner or still exploring brackets, then mine should look different and advanced to you. Well, I am here to share my top 15 extensions for brackets. Welcome guys to my channel, this is Roshan and let's get into the video. Looks and colors are the factors which keep us engaged in the work. So before moving on, let's make our brackets look better. Let's go to the extension manager, file extension manager or click the icon here. Go to theme section and search for infinite. Well, this theme is my personal favorite. You can choose whatever you want. So it's looking good. Okay, now let's go to the actual topic. In brackets, right click options are limited. We have very few options there. So let's make it more functional. So our first extension is right click. Go to extension manager and search for right click and hit install. And now you can see our right click options got improved and newer options will come with newer extensions. You can find more options whenever you install a newer extension. If you want to zoom or increase the font size of your editor, you can use the default Ctrl plus plus key or Ctrl plus minus key, but this gets more convenient when we have more control over it. So our next extension is zoom wheel. So search for zoom wheel, hit install. Now you can use your middle mouse to scroll through to reduce or increase the font size. What if you want to move files from one folder to another in your project? Well. Actually what you would do is exit the brackets and move your files then reopen the brackets. Well let's try doing it through the brackets. Yeah it doesn't seem to work. So our next extension is our third extension is move files. Type in move files and uh, hit install. Now we can seamlessly move files. Let's try. That's right, it's that simple. Most of the people using brackets are web developers or at least used to do a web development project or you know, might have tried at least doing HTML coding. I know it's hectic to write the basic template over and over again. So our next extension is HTML skeleton. Just search and uh, hit install. Click on this icon here and you can dive into coding from style sheet to image from external to internal document linking it has everything you can even rescale the image directly it's very useful you can explore lots of options in here now you are in html document and suppose you want to comment a single or multiple lines what we'll have to do is uh, you know you do you can put on the symbols but it's really time consuming let's make it easy every other software has editor has this particular feature but we do have an extension for this so our next fifth extension is html comment button just search it and install now mark the line you want to comment and click on this comment button and see it's that simple now what if you want to run a PHP file, a PHP file needs a server. So you will have to you will have to have a server like Tomcat, Apache or a client like SAMP or WAMP install. Well let's avoid extra software. So a sixth extension is static preview. Search and install via extension manager. Click on this icon here, the eye, eye shaped icon. and. Uh, you can see it's running on a server. So let's run, try running our page. Slash new test.html. Yeah, that's it. Simple. So you can try even a PHP file or uh, you know other script files which requires a server. Everyone here knows what a script is and should have heard also heard about uh, JavaScript. Well, it has become a requirement in every software project. 
so it's always we have to download it differently you know javascript files from different authors but why bother it downloading it online when you have when you can do it from the brackets itself our next extension is js downloader search and install it and right click on the directory and click run js downloader and you can go through various js files and download them as per the requirement now what if you want to share your code to friends or colleagues or just keep for your future references our eighth extension is export pdf so go ahead and install it from the extension manager click on file export as pdf and you can explore the various settings here and click ok there you go you can see a pdf with a pdf file with colored colored code it's that simple now what if you want to refresh brackets or say reload brackets if some error occurred or or if some extension did not load correctly so we do have an extension for that so our next extension is refresh and reload brackets install it and click on this button here or click f5 to reload brackets it's better and fast than closing and reopening brackets you already have the ability to manipulate data in brackets using multi-cursor well, what if you want to select different set of codes at uh, the same time well we have solution for it too so our next extension is quick multi-cursor selection search and install this and now you can press ctrl and select various codes at a time it's very simple you can perform all the operations with it like you would do normally opening multi window should be very handy for better productivity we have this feature in many softwares let's bring it to brackets extension number 11 open in new editor search and install this and go to file click on new window it's that simple you can work separately over separate different files and increase your productivity what if you want more space to code like if you are working on a small monitor or small screen size then our next extension is for you no distraction go on install it via extension manager go to view click on no distraction and brackets goes full screen you can take cursor towards the panel and uh, they will get visible a very useful one and increases the productivity well anyone missing the adobe dreamweaver here and its features well then let's bring it to brackets our next extension is html designed for brackets go on install it now you can go to design view by clicking here you have a bunch of options on this side pane here you can manipulate it or uh, you can go back to the code view or you can go to split view it's an advanced stuff you can play around with that you can uh, manipulate multiple panes in multiple ways that's really advanced if you have ever hosted a website then you must have got used to a FTP client like FileZilla to access your server files well we can implement that feature right into brackets so our next extension is website admin install the extension and click here on the site and then click on setting and you can fill in the FTP account details and that's it it's as powerful as a FTP client you can browse your server files download them delete them refresh them looking for properties etc now we have everything but without database a website is never complete our final and 15th extension is brackets db manager you don't have to have a you know samp or vamp to have a sql server or you know my php my admin it's simple we have to install it we have sql server in here fill in the details correctly 
and you're good to go you can now manipulate or query the database as you like that's it guys for this video if you use better extensions which i did not mention then please let me know in the comments please like if you like the video and i'm open to suggestions criticisms and for more videos subscribe bye guys next time